This is Lenovo Yoga Tab 11 and today I would like to show how you can set up parental controls for this tablet. So to start, open the settings and enter the account category. So password and account. Then check if you have any Google accounts over here. If you have, if you have some, like I do, you will need to get rid of them by removing those accounts. Once there are no Google, account, Google accounts left, enter the Google category of settings. From here, tap at the parental controls, get started, child or teenager, next. From here, you will need to sign into your child's Google account or well, the Google account that you have prepared to serve at the child's end. If you haven't uh, got one, you can well, sign up for a new Google account, but I do happen to have an account I can use. So I'll simply log into it. So it's somewhat needless to say, but still I figured that I'll mention the fact that the child has to not know the password to the said Google account since if they do, they will be able to very easily bypass or well, circumvent the parental controls by themselves. So well, as I was saying, sign into the Google account, then select it from the list over here. And now we will need to enter another credentials for another Google account, this time uh, the parental one or the Google account that you will be using as a parent. Already, so my setup for some reason shut down, but that's not a big deal. I can very quickly return to what I was doing previously. So sign into your supervisor's Gmail account. After you've done that, you will be forwarded to the About Supervision page, which you will need to scroll all the way down and enter the password to the child's Google account one more time. Then tap at the agree button. And in the following or at the dialog window that follows, choose allow option and wait for the parent and child accounts to get linked. Then proceed. This step we can just skip for now as well as the following one. In here, if the device that is written already, so it shut itself down one more time. Okay, whatever. I'll quickly get back to the setup. So well, it uh, cut ourselves, I mean, it cut us off, but that's not a big deal. As you can see, the parental controls are actually being active. Um, anyways, that was the finishing step. So from there, once you've gotten the, well, the page that I had before, the process decided to glitch and, well, turn itself off. At this point, you will need to take your parental device or the device that you will use to supervise your child and download and install the free Family Link application. That is called, oh, I mean, I already said how it's called. Uh, it is the Family Link app. So here, here is its Google Play Store page. So let's go ahead and get it real quick. So now we will need to launch the app and in here, uh, important step is to sign into it with the parental Google account, make sure that you uh, be cautious at this point and do that right and inside the app itself you can do all sorts of stuff uh, with your child's phone so set some daily usage limits downtime routine manage the child's app experience uh, set up content and age restrictions and filters configure child's account settings such as privacy uh, manage devices if you have multiple supervisees, uh, monitor your child's location, and see the child's device usage highlights, which basically will contain the most important stuff from your child's, well, day. 
with uh, his or her phone. Alrighty, so that will be it for this video. Thanks for watching and bye bye.